Hello everybody, this is Backblast. Here I am again on Oxygen Not Included. Another quick tip for you. This is how to get free power and also a little bit about the steam that I mentioned in the last video. Um, I've got a similar setup here to the last video and for those of you that haven't seen the last video, shame on you. Go back and watch that video. It's a great video. However, this video um, is going to be more about the solar panels. Um, how to keep the solar panels from overheating and to keep them protected from the elements so basically what you can see here is I've got a bunker um, made of steel um, where I feel that it's safe not to have steel I'm quite happy to not have steel a couple of bunker doors on top um, and if you saw the last video this is a steam collector I'll, I'll mention that at the end um, but basically how it works is this to keep this cool you need water so again, we've just got a little bit of water coming up a pipe here. It splits into two different ones. Um, the first one here, this one on the right, is for this room. Obviously, the liquid vent is in this room. The second one here is for this room. Um, and this water in here keeps the solar panels cool. You can see there's no heat damage or anything. It's the same with these robo miners. There's no heat damage. It's because of the water in the room. Both of these vents, or rather the liquid shutoffs, are controlled by a hydro sensor. There's one here, there's one here, and they're set to about half a kilo. So the current pressure is a lot higher than that. Um, I, I've recently turned it down. But all it means is if this water evaporates for some reason, or there's a hole in the floor and it all disappears, it will refill this room to keep these cool. Um, you don't need the temp shift plates as well. You can get rid of those. They, they are not needed. And nothing in here will overheat. Um, the other thing is a byproduct of that. So I've got above here, I've got a glass window, which means that the solar panels can see into space. That's perfect. When these doors open, you'll see this kick into gear. Although it's about to become night. So we're not going to get that much power. So it's, it, we're getting about half power. It's getting quite late in the day. So you'll notice that my bunker door is open and closed there. And that is to protect the glass panel and everything else in here from meteors. Now the way it works is over here I have a space scanner which is looking for meteor showers. When it detects a meteor shower it goes through a, a knot gate. Um, if you want to know how those work, I'll do it in another video. You just need to mention it in the comments. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk about some of the automation features. But basically, it says if there's a meteor shower, shut the doors so that nothing gets damaged. We don't want meteors coming down, smashing into the glass. Now then, the other thing that's a benefit here is not only do we get free power from the solar panels, we're not using gas, we're not using some bloke to run on a wheel, we're getting it from the sun and it will fill the batteries up quite happily especially if you have a bank of about four or five of these you'll you'll get loads and loads of power um, the benefit is because I use water to cool these down and you'll notice quite a lot of water in this room I want this water pressure higher you know I want I want about this much water in this room when there's a meteor shower these doors close if a big meteor hits the top, it will leave residue of this regolith. That regolith will be at about 300 degrees centigrade. When the doors reopen, that regolith will fall down into the water, vaporizing it, making it instantly steam. When this box detects steam, it switches this pump on, and this pump pumps steam through an insulated pipe down to my space rocket. So it fuels my space rocket for free. So I'm getting free electricity, I'm getting free steam for my space rocket. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I will show you this working. So I'll wait till there's a meteor shower, everything will fall through, we'll get loads of steam, this will start working. These two will destroy the regolith, but we will have created a load of steam anyway. The pump won't actually pump it because I'm pretty sure that my pipe is full yeah it's full of steam already so um, the rockets full of, of gas so I'm gonna pause the video and join you in one flash
Well, unfortunately, we haven't managed to get a load of regolith, but there's going to be a tiny amount drops through here. So I don't think it'd be enough to evaporate a load of this water. In fact, it'll probably hardly do any. But you'll see the principle. When we get a, a big lump of it on there, it does make a big splash. We get loads of steam. We're only going to get a little bit before it gets vaporized. But at least you'll see the idea. There it goes. Look at that. You see, it actually creates a lot of steam, even just two little bits like that. Um, and unfortunately, it's way down at this end as well. But that's the idea. You see how much steam's come off those two little bits. When you get a big lump come through, it really fills with steam. There's loads and loads of it, and we get it. There we go. We've got some. It's pumping some out. So even that, two little bits down right at this end, and we're creating enough steam that will go down to to the rocket, hopefully. Um, so there you go. Um, that's how to create some nice, lovely solar panels without them uh, melting, and, um, and also how to get free steam from it. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's been useful. If it has, give me a thumbs up on the video. My name's Backblast. I'll see you next time.